Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lucas Press Repair. Here we have this beautiful Elite PL92T, also known as the Elizabeth. Uh, we have done quite a lot of work on this beautiful espresso machine. We have literally replaced the brew uh, gasket of this machine, as well as did a lot of property maintenance on the ton of all these beautiful hoses that you see right here. Right now the machine is actually up to pressure. Nice, beautiful pressure coming out from these. There you go. And everything is beautiful pressurized and up to temperature. Sadly, the PIB is not working. So, uh, thankfully, the machine is. It will do pre infusion. There you go. And then it will do extraction. Nice, beautiful coffee coming out from this beautiful machine. Is doing it at the right pressure as well, nine bars. Beautiful. Working great. Nice steady flow coming up from this beautiful machine. Perfect shadow espresso. Machine automatically fills as well. Working, working fine. No leaks coming out from here. Previously, the machine had a ton of steam coming out from everywhere. This one that you see right here was basically leaking all over the entire machine. Not only that, but part of the steam temperature sensor as well as the water level probe were leaking. I did a ton of preventive maintenance everywhere on this beautiful machine. As you can see, it's pressurizing properly. Working great. Delivering hot water as well. No leaks coming out from the inside. Everything working well. But sadly, the PID itself it is not working on this machine anymore. Uh, the moisture inside the machine uh, basically end up shorting out that PID. And uh, it's actually receiving 10 volts of, uh, of DC power. I double check that. But the LCD display is just not working, sadly. As you can see, the machine actually fills up the steam boiler as well. That's the reason why the pump was working. And let me show you the back. This is the back of the Lelite Elizabeth. Beautiful. As you can see, everything is really cramming in there. We have the brew boiler temperature sensor as well as the steam boiler temperature sensor all connected right here. You can even see the bowl right there. Nice and beautiful. A beautiful uh, ceramic uh, Olaf uh, new pump. These are supposed to be ultra quiet as well as they should last much longer. No leaks coming out from any parts over here. Everything working as well as supposed to. But sadly, the PID is dead. So yeah, sadly, the PID of this beautiful machine is dead. Uh, we we're ha gonna have to replace it if we wanna have functionality of the PID once again. But as you can see, the machine is working as expected. As long as you don't press the PID because this one is shorted out. If you press it, basically the whole machine turns off, and which is not good. This is, this is just uh, making a short inside the system. Um, it's not working anymore but the machine itself is working as you can see we pull a beautiful shot of espresso as well as we were able to use the steamer on the machine so there you have it stay tuned for more updates on this beautiful elite elizabeth subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already hit the like and hit that bell thanks for watching